Hello guys, this is Chirodip once again and you are watching Code Java Tutorial. This is the part 4 of the Code Java Tutorial series and today we are going to learn about method with argument first by value and the method we will be using only static method. So let's start. Here uh, in the class A, I have defined one main method and one test method. In the main method, uh, I have defined one integer variable that is i is getting initialized by 0 and I am calling to the test method sorry and I am calling to the test method and test method is taking on one value integer k the k value will be taking the value as i that is equals to 0 and k is getting reinitialized by 10 but uh, we have and after that we have printed uh, the value of i but here the main factor is reinitialization k of k is local to test so once it's executed it will be out of from the memory so it will be local to the method test so it will not affect the main method so the value you will be getting is called to zero only so let's run this sorry uh, you have to just uh, Okay, what's happening actually? Why is getting e dot class? Yeah, you can see. So you can uh, run this Java class, and you can see the output is only getting zero. Now moving to the next class, uh, that is the b dot Java. As you can see, that all the all the implementation is same as previous program, but here instead of another name variable i have defined only the i variable but the thing is here i is getting initialized by 10 also but uh, here i is local to the method test so it will not uh, be the same of that i and this i so this i is the local to main method and this i is local to the test method so it is not the same so it will not affect the main, me main method and you will be getting the output zero, uh, 0 only so you can see that the method is 0 uh, the output is 0 now we, we move to the next pro next program it is little bit complex so you can uh, be able to understand so i hope uh, don't worry so you can see that I have defined one main method here and I have defined one uh, integer variable that equals to 0 and one uh, one integer variable another integer variable that equals to k now k the value of k will be getting initialized by this statement so this whole statement so what's happening actually here first uh, and also uh, I have defined one test method that is static and the return is post increment of value of i so here also uh, the first statement is i plus plus integer k equals to i plus plus that means uh, 0 will be taken and after that the final value will be 1 here test i plus plus that means the initial value will be 1 1 is uh, loaded into test test method and test method is catching 1 only and return type is i plus plus that is post increment so the final value will be 2 and the initial value will be 1 so the final value of the previous statement 2 is getting initialized by here and as you can see 2 plus 1 equals to 3 so let's check it out you can see that the value of 2 <coughs> is output of the value of i that is to both two times incremented so for this uh, we are getting the value as 2 and the value of k will be 2 plus 1 equals to 3 let me just save this e dot java program as because it's creating some problem <coughs> sorry now here you can see that uh, in the d class i have defined one d class and i have defined one uh, static method test uh, the it is a pre increment method so it's returning the pre increment value of i and now i is getting initialized by 0 in the main method 
and k is initialized by this statement this whole statement so what's happening here uh, actually i plus plus means 0 initial value and the final value will be 1 as you can see test i plus plus means the initial value will be 2 as because i is uh, getting 1 in the previous statement and i plus plus is getting 1 so it's getting pre-incremented so the initial value will be 2 and the final value will be 2 both are same and it's getting another time test method so it's getting pre-incremented in this uh, in this block only in this parenthesis only so it's getting 3 and the final value will be 4 so initializing value will be 4 and the final value will be 3 and here also 3 so i is incremented 3 times in the main method so the final value of i will be 3 and the value of k will be 3 plus 4 that equals to 7 plus 2 equals to 9 so let's check it out yeah. you can see that the final value of i that equals to system dot out dot println equals to i equals to 3 and system dot out dot println k equals to 9 now moving to the next program it is a little bit complex program so watch carefully and i hope uh, you will be getting to know what is happening here actually i have defined two method two static method one is test one another is test two and test one is post increment method and test two is pre increment method so i have defined one very valuable that is i equals to 0 and one j variable the value of j will be initialized by this statement first is getting initialization value of 0 of i plus plus and the final value will be 1 and in this in this block test 1 i plus plus the initial value will be 1 and the final value will be 2 as because test 1 is a post increment and here also it is going to post increment so the initial value will be 2 and the final value will be 3 here also it's getting pre increment so the initial value will be 4 and final value will be like uh, uh, i mean uh, test 1 so it's the post increment so the final value will not affect here so it's going to be 4 now it's getting pre incremented 5 and the final value will be 5 also test 2 the i plus plus that is pre increment uh, method so the final so the initial value will be like uh, 8 and the final value will be like 7 uh, here also uh, sorry uh, I have skipped this one so the here also the initial value will be 6 and the final value will be 6 and here uh, I have I have defined the initial value as 8 as because the test 2 will be returning 6 and is getting pre incremented so 8 and the final value will be 7 and here also the final value will be 7 and the initial value a sorry the initial value will be 7 and the final value will be 8 it's a little bit complex uh, i hope you understand uh, you can run your this program in your computer or desktop and you will be getting more of this program in your uh, java certification or the basic uh, knowledge of java unary operators so these are all are very important programs so watch uh, watch this program again and again and try to solve this and uh, if you having face any problem just let me know okay now moving to the next program i have defined one test method that that equals to pre decrement method it is a pre decrement we are we all were operating only increment so i have defined one pre increment method also here what is happening now test plus plus i is getting pre incremented and the initial value will be 0 and the final value will be 1 as because is returning written minus minus so the here also the initial value will be 0 and the final value will be 2 and here i equals to 2 here test i minus i minus minus the initial value will be 1 and the final value will be 1 and here also i plus plus so the initial value will be 1 and the final value will be 2 so we are getting output i j so what is the output just run this program as you can see the i is getting incremented by 2 times i plus 3 times sorry so the 3 
and i is getting decremented by 1 times so 3 minus 1 equals to 2 so getting the value i as 2 and the total value of the j will be 2 plus 1 plus 1 that equals to 4 so the value is getting 4 so this that's all for this tutorial i hope you liked it and solve these programs in your own and try to gather as much knowledge as you can thanks for watching and have a good day